fun. But so it started off four o'clock in the morning where I'd start and I'd start with my cardio, then I'd have breakfast, and then I would go to the gym, and then I'd go to work. I work out twice before everyone wakes up. I'm pretty sure I wake up earlier than all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says, he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. Complain, point at your circumstances, give up your power, blame the government, blame the economy. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. It's hard to make a radical change in your behavior. It's hard to take ownership. It's hard to swallow the bitter pill that wherever you find yourself, at some point in time, you made an appointment to be there. And then they asked me, well, why are you up so early? <laughs> <laughs> he told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Again, we don't sleep when we're tired, we sleep when we are So don't tell yourself you don't have time. Just say it's not important. And maybe it isn't, and that's okay. But if it is, make the time to get it done. You have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. And there's so many scientists, thinkers, CEOs who all believe in waking up early. Here's just a few of them. Apple CEO Tim Cook wakes up at 3.45 a.m. every single day. Michelle Obama, she's working out by 4.30 a.m. Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary wakes up at 5.45 a.m. every day. Richard Branson wakes up at exactly the same time. And even after leaving being a monk, I've been waking up between 5 and 6 a.m. every single day. And there's so many more examples of people who wake up super early super early and this is why we do it it tells us that every day we have a fresh new opportunity to invest our time wisely we get a new set of time to choose to grow to evolve to improve as people to invest in the things we believe in to use with the people that we love and cherish and care for every day we have 86,400 seconds for us to use just how we like it now the reason why we decide to wake up early is because then you have more time if you're sleeping for most of that maybe you get 50,000 maybe you get 40,000 the point is that the more you're awake if you've slept effectively you have more time to develop yourself and what you really love doing you have more time to work on your goals more time to work on your aspirations and more time to create a healthy positive life 
And there's a great quote that I love that goes, the trouble is you think you have time. So if you want to know the value of one year, speak to someone who just failed their last year at university or college. If you want to know the value of a month, speak to someone who's been separated from someone they love. If you want to know the value of a week, speak to someone who's the editor of an online magazine. If you want to know the value of an hour, speak to someone who is just late for an interview. If you want to know the value of a minute, speak to the person who is late for a bus train or plane. And if you want to know the value of a moment, speak to the person who just won silver at the Olympics and missed out on gold. The one habit that will rapidly change your success, fulfillment and happiness in life is waking up earlier. Try it out. You don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. right away. Just try and wake up 15 minutes earlier than you already do every week. You will start seeing results in no time. Let me know about your findings and what you realize about doing this experiment. Let me know in the comments. See you guys soon.